Hello, viewers, and welcome to this edition of Breaking Down Nigerian Pidgin English. My name is Bafu. Today, we'll be looking at the simple past tense and their uses in Nigerian Pidgin English. Haven't seen how to form sentences with the marker they, which is the only marker that represents the verb to be in English, was, and were in the simple past. Today, we're going to look at how to form sentences in the affirmative, negative, and question forms with other verbs in the past. There are two ways to construct a sentence in the past in Nigerian Pidgin English. First is with the introduction of the marker being after the subject and then verb plus the complement. For example, I've been seeing you with your wife. And the second way is to add a time expression in the past, like this morning, yesterday, last night, two days ago, last week, to either a complete sentence with the marker being, or just the construction of a regular present simple sentence with the addition of a past time expression at the beginning or end of a sentence. For example, he been come your house yesterday. He came to your house yesterday. This example is a complete sentence with the marker being at the with the time expression in the past. We visit your auntie last week. We visited your aunt last week. This is a regular present simple sentence with a past time expression at the end of the sentence. Now let us look at some complete sentences in the affirmative, negative, and question forms in both languages. First, the affirmative structure is subject plus being plus verb plus Complement. Examples. I've been go school alone today. Went to school alone today. She been buy that dress specially for the party. She bought the dress specially for the party. The doctor's been treat the patient for malaria. The doctors treated the patient for Valeria. Now, let's look at the negative. For us to look at the negative, the negative sentences can be constructed in two forms. Let's look at the first structure. We have the subject plus no plus being plus verb plus the complement or the subject plus being plus no plus verb plus the complement. Check out these examples. The people be no like the show last night. We can as well say, the people no be like the show last night. Saying the same thing. My daughter no be tell her mama what thing happened. Or we can say, my daughter be no tell her mama what thing happened. So we can use both ways if you wish. Now let's go to the question form. The question forms, like always, has the same structure as the affirmative with a question mark at the end. And the structure is subject plus being plus verb plus the complement, then the question mark. For example, you been holla your boss this morning. Una grandmama been sick. The mumu been show for the party without IV. So as you can see, this 
is the construction of the past in Nigerian Pidgin English. Quite simple, isn't it? Just being plus the verb gives you a complete sentence in Nigerian Pidgin English. Guys, that is the end of our program today. Should you have any question, please feel free. Send it to the comment section and I'll be glad to respond to them. Once again, my name is Bafo. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep it locked on Be the MP, breaking down Nigerian Pidgin English. Pieces in. Bye.